Creating accessible documents in Microsoft Word 2013 and 2016. Word Forms. Introduction. This module covers how to create accessible forms in Microsoft Word. The general strategy is to create and populate the form with text inputs from the legacy form tools, add help text to the form field inputs, and lock the form to allow the user to tab through the inputs. We offer a more detailed explanation later. Parts of a form. Edit boxes. An edit box is the space a person filling out the form uses to type in text or response to a question. Usually, a highlighted or shaded area provides a visual marker to show where to fill in this text. 1. Place the cursor at the beginning of the space where you expect a person to start filling in text. In the Productivity tab, click Text Form Field, also labeled as Edit Box in the Forms group. 2. Right-click on the shaded edit box. 3. Choose Properties from the context menu. 4. Click into the Bookmark edit box. It should read Text 1. Rename this to the same name as the form field label, using Mixed Case, also called Camel Case, if necessary. Spaces are not allowed in bookmarks in Word. 5. Activate Add Help Text button. This brings up a multi-page dialog box that allows you to add a meaningful prompt for the person filling out the form. 6. Click in the Edit area for adding your own text. The text you enter here is visible on the Word status bar and is also spoken aloud to a person using JAWS when filling out the form. The field, however, is limited to 138 characters. If the question on the form includes abbreviations, such as DOB, spell out the abbreviation, for example, date of birth, or put spaces between the letters, D, O, B, so that the prompt is meaningful. 7. Click OK until you have exited all menus and dialogs. Checkboxes. A checkbox is a small box generally to the left of a choice, but may be to the right. When the checkbox is checked with a mouse or a spacebar, a checkmark or X appears in the box. 1. Place the cursor at the beginning of the space where you expect a person filling out the form to place a checkmark. 2. In the Productivity tab, choose Checkbox Form Field from the Forms group. 3. Right-click on the small shaded checkbox in your document. 4. Choose Properties from the context menu. 5. Click in the Bookmark edit box. It should read Check 1. Rename this to the same name as the form field label using Mixed Case if necessary. 6. Activate the Add Help Text button. This brings up a multi-page dialog box that allows you to add meaningful prompts for a person filling out the form. 7. Click in the Edit area to add your own text. In most cases, simply type the same question that is printed on the form. 8. Click OK until you have exited all menus and dialogs. Drop-down combo boxes. A drop-down box appears as a rectangular edit box with a graphic of a down arrow appearing to the right of the edit box. This arrow indicates more choices are contained within an attached list box. 1. Place the cursor where you want to place the drop-down list. 2. In the Productivity tab, choose Drop-down Form Field from the Forms section. 3. Right-click on the shaded edit box in the form. 4. Choose Properties from the Context menu. 5. The drop-down form field options dialog box opens. 6. In the drop-down item edit box, type the first value you wish to use in the list, i.e., fall. 7. Click the Add button. The first item is added to the items in the drop-down list on the right, and focus returns to the edit field where you can type in a second value, i.e., spring. 8. 
Continue this process until all of the values you want are added. If needed, you can click on an item in the Items in drop-down list and move that item up or down the list by using the up or down controls that follow the list. Note, the first item in the list becomes the default value. If when the form is used, the first answer will be selected even if the user does nothing. In general, use Pick 1 as the first item. Then you will know if the user chose not to complete this item. 9. Click in the Bookmark Edit box and enter the appropriate text. 10. Click the Add Help Text button. 11. Click in the Type Your Own Edit field. 12. Enter the appropriate text. Something short, but that also makes sense. 13. Click the OK until you have exited all menus and dialogs. Adding Help Key, F1 Help. When a JAWS user moves to a control, they first hear the status bar Help, if it is present. This is the information you entered in the Add Help text. This is followed by a message, Has F1 Key Help, if it is present. This field is limited to 254 characters. Use this only if the Help text prompt is not clear by itself. When you access the properties of each form control, the Field Options dialog box for the control opens. This is a multi-page dialog box. 1. Click the Help key F1 tab. 2. Click in the Edit box and insert the additional text. This field is limited to 254 characters. Title, instructions, and other form content that should be spoken. Forms have title, instructions, and revision dates. Sometimes long forms have different sections with unique sets of directions. To allow JAWS to hear the instructions, 1. At the end of the instructions in the form, insert a checkbox. 2. In the Productivity tab, choose Checkbox Form Field from the Form section. 3. Right-click on the small shaded checkbox in your document. 4. Choose Properties from the Context menu. 5. In the checkbox size, click on Exactly and choose One Point. This will make the box almost invisible to non-screen reader users. 6. Click in the Bookmark Edit box. Type Instruction 1. 7. Activate the Help Text button. This brings up a multi-page dialog box that allows you to add a meaningful prompt for the person filling out the form. 8. In the Help Text area, start the Help Text with Info. Copy and paste or reword the instructions. If they will not fit in 128 characters, stop at the end of a sentence or some other appropriate place. 9. If the instructions are not yet complete, add another checkbox and more instructions. Remember to start the help text with Info. Repeat as many times as necessary. Remember to update the bookmark edit box to say Instruction 2 or 3, depending on which it is. Form prompts. Form prompts let users know what information to enter. They should match the visual wording of the form. If the prompt is too long to fit in the status bar, or F1, edit the prompt, but maintain the meaning. Acceptable methods for shortening input text include substituting symbols for words, using Arabic numbers instead of written numbers, shortening words with contractions, using acronyms or abbreviations, use spaces between the letters. The last form field prompt should contain the words end of form to let users know they have reached the end of the form. Otherwise, after completing the final input and pressing the tab key, they are returned to the top of the form. Protecting the form. When you have completed the form, lock the document to protect it. From the Productivity tab, select Protect Document. Next, click the boxes Allow only this type of editing in the document, and then filling in the form. From Start Enforcement, click Yes, Start Enforcing Protection. Finally, close and save the form. To disable protection, 1. In the Productivity tab, 
choose Protect Doc from the Forms section. Two, the Protect Document dialog will appear on the right side of the window. Click the Stop Protection button. This concludes our module on accessible documents. 